I love young talent. I love young people, young ladies, young gentlemen who are really trying to make an impact out there. This morning I am joined by Cynthia Tapfuma Mapando. Cynthia, good morning. Hi, good morning. You're doing well today? I'm doing great. You look lovely. You look cute. <laughs> <laughs> this whole cute thing. Ooh, I, I always thought cute was for little babies. Oh, well, you look cute, so Thank I you. guess I'm, 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 a, I'm a young girl. Yeah, I exactly. Love it. I love it. <laughs> Cynthia, tell us about yourself. Look, you're a poet, you're yeah. um, a presenter, you're a yeah. uh, uh, word, what do you call it? A word? Wordsmith. Wordsmith. <laughs> Locksmith. That's, that's that, deep. That is <laughs> really deep. deep. Tell us about this, this why poetry? All right, so um, I knew I was a presenter became before I became a poet right but then I became a poet before I became a presenter I hope that makes sense <laughs> <It does. laughs> uh, so I discovered I was a poet back in high school mm -hmm. I literally think that everybody discovers themselves in high school yeah. and uh, I knew I could write right but I didn't actually know what I was writing mm -hmm. until you get to learn and you get to grow you learn from other people your environment you get to grow and then you discover ah, isn't this poetry and now <laughs> when you write you're a page poet yeah. but when you now put your words into your mouth and then you speak them out that's spoken word now wow. so I started literally reading my work and then performing and I'm like wow I'm, this a, is actually I'm, good. I'm a spoken word artist and that's really good so some of the topics tell us just a few that you cover when you're doing spoken word because I do know okay. that it influences it's, it's an influential yes. thing as well yes. Uh, actually, I write mostly about Africa because right. I love my motherland. Absolutely. I think that's where my name Blackbird Zimbabwe literally comes from, the blackness from the um, African <laughs> skin. And the bird now is for sorting Aya. Every wow. time I remind myself, I saw Aya. Blackbird. So, Blackbird, yes. Very good. And um, um, drug abuse. Mm -hmm. and also, which is so good, like, which especially is actually, with the youth. Yes, yeah, exactly. You reach out to them yes. that. Um, and also love, mm -hmm. and also about myself. That's very yes. good, that's very good. Yeah. Listen, you're not just a, a wordsmith, mm -hmm. you're also a presenter. Yes. And some of the things that you present to are Youth Got Talent, mm -hmm. um, uh, Lip Sync. Yes. Tell us more about these, what are they? All right, so um, YGT is um, a show, a ZBC show, mm -hmm. which is called uh, Literally Young, Gifted and Talented Show. It's for literally the youth. <laughs> so I'm a presenter there. And also Lip Sync is a show for young kids, literally kids. Right. So every time I ask, what's your occupation? I say, I play with kids. And wow, then they're like, do you babysit? <laughs> I'm like, no, I actually play with kids. <laughs> so yeah, they are um, literally just youth shows and the young ones shows. Uh, and there's also a uh, Lit Fest Action mm -hmm. Hub? Yes, Lit Fest is a uh, poetry slam, a poetry competition. Mm -hmm. So I'll be like the slam master. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the MC. The yeah. MC for yeah, that. Yes, yes. Okay, and you're also founder of um, some uh, exhib yes, exhib a youth yes, exhibition yes, and things. Yes. Tell us about your... Um, so I'm the founder of the annual Poetry Red Carpet Awards event for the world of Zimbabwe. Wow. So this was an idea that God gave me and I just had to put we'll it to life it. and wow. I'm glad it's literally moving um, at a quicker pace, mm -hmm. right? And also the RT New Exhibition is an exhibition where I feature artifacts, um, I feature poets also, everyone who is into art, they just come together and then they showcase. And also there is uh, the Awakening Giant Poetry mm -hmm. Workshop. It's a workshop where we get to literally teach each other about po poetry. Yeah. Yeah. Just to mention very few. That is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. So just listening to you, I mean, you're 21. I'm 21. Okay, and you're this whole bag of a yes. lot of things. Yes. This is so much. How do you get the funding for this? How do you get the drive to do all of this? Now, that's uh, pretty much uh, heartbreaking, if right. I am to say, because there is no funding everywhere. Wow. You know, uh, I think it's literally because I haven't registered my brand as of yet. Okay. Yeah, so maybe if I register, I get to have more opportunities. What's holding you back? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a question for you to think about. Yes, What's holding yes, you back? You yes. can do everything. Because I see you're making such an impact in the youth with the little kids. Yes. And that's the next generation. That's so I, I really generation. do hope that, you know, and you... And so much talent. That is know. good. Yes. I hope you make a lot of impact mm -hmm. with the youth. This is what we need for our Zimbabwe and for the world for as the well. World, yes. Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us right here on Morning Rush. Ahead. It's been a delight speaking to you. And thank you for calling me cute. You are cute. I feel <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole world can agree. <laughs>